Here is another esophagus. Whenever you see this shiny and thicker looking and less mucousy type of mucosa, you can always bet that it's probably squamous. This is the uh, normal squamous mucosa of the esophagus all throughout here and here by characteristic appearance. Notice it's rather normal out here as well. But what we have in this whole area is an area that's not shiny and smooth. It's irregular, it's granular, it's more hemorrhagic. And in addition, you may or may not get the feel that it's very much thickened as well. Because the theoretical mucosal lining of the esophagus is squamous, you would guess that most of the primary carcinomas of the esophagus are squamous cell carcinomas. And you would guess right, because they are. This is a normal mucosa. You may have some glandular submucosal glands. You can see some smooth muscle out here. You can perhaps see some scattered uh, inflammatory cells in the uh, submucosal region. Here is a normal submucosal gland of the esophagus and its duct. All of this mucosa is normal, maturing nicely from the basal layer to the superficial layer, not forming uh, keratinization. Uh, but all of a sudden here, you have a rather abrupt transition. Now, you can still see that there's somewhat of a squamous mucosa, but it looks as ugly as sin. You could see that it doesn't have much of a maturation pattern. You could see that it has a very irregular border. You could see that there's a very significant amount of scattered inflammatory cells in it and under it. This is the uh, cancer. This is a squamous cell carcinoma. In this area, you can compare it to the normal squamous mucosa. And this area is a squamous cell carcinoma, which is limited to the mucosa and at this point does not infiltrate. So in this area, you could call this squamous cell carcinoma in situ. Let's look at it. Here's a mitosis. Here's a mitosis. Here's a mitosis. And whereas you might say, well, maybe a little bit, these cells might mature from the base, flattening, flattening out a little bit towards the periphery. They are dark, big, lumpy, irregular cells. Mitosis all over the place. Some of the mitosis are what they call tripolar or multipolar, which means they're trying to go in more than two directions, which is almost always a, a sign of malignancy. Now, whereas this is an area of in situ squamous carcinoma, if you follow it out and zoom backwards, you could see that although this may be theoretically described as in situ, all of this stuff that invades now into the muscle is infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma. This whole area is infiltration, all in here. This is an area that's in situ. Here's an area which is a surrounded by an abundant amount of inflammatory cells. When you get into the infiltrating portion, however, the inflammation doesn't look as severe as it is in the in situ area. And here is your absolutely normal mucosa. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, let me point out another feature here, which you may or may not have noticed already, that when you get into the infiltrating areas, you could tell absolutely this is cancer. There are irregular cells. There's uh, sometimes abnormal mitoses. They're dark. They're lumpy. They're irregular but they don't seem to look as bad, theoretically, as the in situ cancer, which we see over here, does it. The in situ stuff actually looks nastier and bigger and darker. Nevertheless, even if theoretically these uh, cells here look perfectly normal, you know that it has to be infiltrating squamous cell, even from this power, 
because it's invading through these muscle layers. And right there it is. You can see muscle being invaded there. This is squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus. And it's not the best one I've ever seen, and it's not the worst one I've ever seen. So how about if we call it moderately differentiated? Thank you very much.